Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. In this video, we are going to talk about rising of a droplet through another continuous liquid phase. This droplet rise is, will be governed by buoyancy force and buoyancy force appears due to density difference. The droplet which rises will have a lesser density compared to the matrix where the droplet is kept. So let us proceed with today's discussion. So we'll go to model wizard and we can take both 2D or axisymmetric. If we take 2D axisymmetric then we can rotate, we can revolve it and we can uh, see a 3D picture of the droplet rise. So we'll go ahead with the axisymmetric model. So this particular droplet rise is basically a two phase flow and that's why we have to take two phase flow so in the fluid flow we go to multi phase flow and in multi phase flow we will be having different options and we will be moving ahead with the level set model so level set laminar flow model we are adding here along with that we will add a study so that will be time dependent and phase initialization study so once it will be added we will start our modeling so geometry let us uh, work with a millimeter size geometry so we will be uh, putting a rectangle say the rectangle will have 20 mm of height and say around 5 mm of width so this is the rectangle so one thing we have to understand and that is this is the axisymmetric line and we are simulating the half that means only right side we are simulating and because of this accessibility it will have another half or mirror of this which will be giving exactly similar result and that is why in accessibility we can actually solve for a slice and then we can revolve it around so that we get a 3d view so now we go to material in material we have to add two different material one is the droplet material and other is the matrix so one will be your water the other will be any oil say let us search for oil there will be some inbuilt oil uh, we can go ahead with there is some transformer oil so let us write that transformer oil yeah this one we can go ahead with so what we need to do is we can divide it into two compartments this geometry for that what do we do we take another rectangle we duplicate it and we put an I mean we divide into two chambers for that what we can do let us keep the height say 15 we can make it 12 yeah this is fine now make droplets for making droplet we'll create circle and say the radius it is a 5 say 1 mm radius yeah this is 1 mm this is fine and we put it somewhere in the top side i mean somewhere upper say we keep it around 5 r equal to 0 z equal to say 5 mm okay now as you see it is crossing the axisymmetric line so we actually take half of the circle because this half will be automatically taken by the axisymmetric so what we can do is we can make 180 degree angle 
this is a rotational angle we have to yeah we have to change the sector angle say this would be 180 and it becomes like this and we need to rotate it because you have to incline it I mean align it with this axisymmetric line so what we do we rotate it by 90 degree uh, make it minus 90 degree then it should work yeah so this is the initial droplet and this droplet will be rising under the application of the buoyancy force so this droplet will have the transformer oil and this chamber is also transformer oil the upper chamber and in in this section we'll be having this water so let us put the water here and the transformer oil in the rest of the section that means this and this now what I need to do is in the laminar flow in the fluid properties it will be taken from the material yeah this is taken from the material this is good all these are walls so here you can see uh, let, in the lab in the level set section what we do is we define our initial value 1 and the initial value 2 because there are two fluids so our fluid 1 will be the transformer oil and fluid 2 say water so this will be our fluid 2 and fluid 1 is transformer oil and here we define it so fluid 1 is transformer oil and fluid 2 is water so let us check once again so this is the initial value 1 so fluid 1 this means transformer oil so here we have defined fluid 1 transformer oil so weighted wall let us consider these two walls as weighted wall we have to include gravity because everything will happen due to gravity so we click here include gravity so it will add gravity to the solution space we don't have any inlet outlet here so we don't need to put any inlet or outlet as i always mention when we don't have any inlet and outlet then we should put a point restriction that is pressure point constraint and we can keep it here or any corner this point and put it zero now we have to define the time step so we let us yeah let us go up to 0.25 or 0.4 i guess and with an interval of 0 0.01 second the simulation takes some time because this is a two phase flow so we'll start the simulation we'll let it happen and then again i'll come back so before that let us create the mesh this is the mesh this mesh is fine for the time being now i think all the things are properly set and yeah it is good to go i guess so i just click on compute Let's see what happens. If any error appears, we'll rectify it. So the simulation is being processed. You can see. Yeah, the simulation has started. The two phase flow. Initially, it goes for the phase initialization. Yeah, this is solving a segregated model. We can also solve for coupled one because these two are coupled so we go to solver you just see how exactly we change from segregated to couple 
so here you can see the option is automatically segregated so we right click on solver we click on fully coupled and then it will take a solver this one so this is the pardiso solver so this is fine a direct solver now i click on compute again it is starting the simulation let's see yeah it has started so i'll pause the video once the simulation is over i'll come back yeah the simulation is over so we can see now we'll change the time step this is the velocity profile i'll go for the volume fraction so this is the volume fraction let me go to 0th time step so it is here now i will increase the time step you can see the droplet is moving upper side and it will go up and up and it will coalesce with the upper oil so this is how the droplet will rise but you can see in droplet we don't see a very specific well separated droplet that may happen due to two reasons one is the meshing issue and another is the interfacial tension in order to have a compact droplet you should have a higher interfacial tension and you may actually try with different interfacial tension so that you can have a compact droplet also you should try the simulation with a finer mesh and that will give you a better solution yeah we have done axisymmetric so that we can see a three dimensional picture so let us try to look at here so you can see how exactly the droplet rises so this is the 0th time so the droplet is here and you can see as i keep on changing the time the droplet will go up let me yeah you can see the droplet is going up yeah it's going up and it changes its shape and as i have mentioned if we take a higher interfacial tension it will remain like a perfect sphere so the yeah, droplet is moving up and up it creates a ripple on the surface of the top interface basically and then it will touch the interface and it will coalesce with the upper transformer oil so this is how you can simulate droplet rise and you can actually work with different set of fluids and if you work with different set of fluids you have to appropriately choose the interfacial tension and also you have to take care of the geometry mesh and if you take care of all this your simulation will run if you face any problem you can write to me or put a comment in the comment section with this i stop here and i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel because this will give more motivation to upload videos and i had another announcement we have just started a service where we help you developing your research problem with comsol if you need our help write to me in the email id given in the description box and i will get back to you thank you